another vloggy vlog it is currently hmm hold on hold on i don't even have my phone it is monday april 29th it is a 7 47 a.m i just dropped baby girl off to school and now we are home i am making some waffles for bubba and i to eat and then we're just gonna get started on our day i plan on doing a few lesson plans today with bubba because we haven't really been doing that for like a hot minute and we need to get back to doing that i mean he knows his numbers he knows his letters he knows days of the week he knows the months he knows colors he knows shape um i'm trying to figure out what else i need to kind of like work on work with him on i mean he is he turns four this year but he turns four late this year so he won't be able to start pre-k until like a next school year so i just want to make sure when he does go to school that he's you know already and prepared for him to take on the world you know what's up what's up what's up guys it is at 2 23 so after i last checked in with you guys i did some dishes and then me and baba went down for a super long nap you know those naps that you're taking in when you wake up because you took too long of a nap now you tired if that makes sense so that's how i'm feeling i feel like i slept for too long and now i'm a little tired from sleeping is that even possible but yeah now i'm on my way to go pick up a girl from school and she has a game today at seven yeah she has a game at seven and i'm not sure if we'll have practice but today i'm gonna be on my own i'm gonna be solo parenting for today by myself because hubby's working super late so i don't know what time he's gonna get up or even if he's coming home today so i'm on my own and i'm gonna try to do things quite like early so i can like have these kids in bed and have some me time if that makes sense so let's go pick up baby girl from school and i went to school i did all the stuff correctly and i earned a candy yeah. <laughs> so i'm gonna make some ramen noodles for lunch for the kids because it's easy simple and me making ramen noodles for them right now they may not eat dinner because this might like fill them up um so <laughs> So tonight, if they do get hungry after this, I either I'm gonna give them like dinner, the food that I made yesterday, or I'm gonna give them like a snacky, which is like cereal. That would be like their late night snack. Yeah. If this fills them up. So I'm gonna get started on that. And I told you guys Baby Girl has a game today at seven o'clock, y'all. And mm. we're not going. Why not? Because I don't feel like going at seven o'clock. You guys, we're gonna be done at eight o'clock. For us to come home, for me to get you together, get Bubba together, and put you guys down for our bed, and I, it's just gonna be too much on me. And Daddy's not home. Daddy's probably not coming home today, so it's only gonna be me and you guys tonight. So it's gonna be too much for me to do. The other one is right in front of me. See what's that? <laughs> you okay, Bubba? You need help? Say, Cece, can you help me, please? There you go. What do you want to do? I just want to go to Miss Nicole's house. <laughs> you want to go to Miss Nicole's house? Yeah, Let's too. call her. Me too. Let's call her and see what she says. I'm going to video, I'm going to FaceTime her, and I'm go we're going to see what she says. Where are you? I'm right over here. See it. Huh? Oh my god. <laughs> What's up guys? So it has been hours, hours later. It is currently 2.24 p.m. I got myself together for the day. I'm about to head out to go pick up baby girl from school. I feel like today is similar to how my day was yesterday. I really didn't do much all morning. I went down for a nap. Bubba was on his iPad. I didn't get a chance to do any learning stuff with him like I wanted to. I don't know. Some days I'm like up here and some days I'm down there. And I feel like the past two days I'm like down here. I don't know. Some I don't know. I don't know what's going on with me. I really don't know what's going on with me. But hubby did get home this morning around like 9 10 that's when he came home so he's currently taking a nap i'm about to head out to go pick up baby girl but before heading out i'm going to pop some like stuff in the oven for the kids for lunch some fries they have some dino nuggets they have chicken nuggets so i'm gonna pop some of that underneath the oven 
and then I'm gonna let her be know that I have some money other so while I'm out he can keep an eye out for it you know but baby girl has practice today and mother has a game most likely we are going to that so here you go And this is why McDonald and I have a love and hate relationship, y'all. It is currently 3.02. I got here at 2.55, right? And a lot of people are passing me by. When I got in this line, it was only two people. Me and the other person in front of me, right? So the other person pulled, up, pulled out and got their order. And they told me to pull forward because they're going to bring my food out to me, right? I've been here... Mm -hmm. How long, like I've been here sitting here and waiting for my food to come and everybody else like now there's a line and people are just like passing me by passing me by and I'm like yo I did not order a lot of stuff so what is taking so long Maybe they're and nobody's coming out here and saying anything to me like literally nothing and I'm just like yo what is taking so long like this is why this is why I don't like coming to McDonald's because they just their customer service sometimes just be ass like just be literally ass like we are at baby girls practice i don't really see anybody else out here it is 4 59 so five o'clock that's when practice starts we're not going to be here for the whole entire practice because Bubba has a game at six o'clock so we're only here for about what 35 maybe 45 minutes right yeah, yeah. 35 about 45 minutes i'm gonna let her like you know be outside play and you know get some energy out mm -hmm. and then go home and pick up bubba leave her home probably with her dad no. and take bubba because i really just don't want to juggle both kids at the same time i mean i can do it but for my sanity i just feel like i just want to do it one kid at a time at this point because like no money girl. take all of us with you to bubba's game just so they can also have my un undivided attention because I feel like I haven't really spent one-on-one -on -one time with my kids and I need to run that back because we are way overdue for some like mommy and me time with each of the kids so that is in the works I'm gonna plan something so I would just will be like a little I guess startup just doing a one-on-one -on -one thing with the kids at least for their practice so we shall see I think her coach just pulled up yeah her coach just pulled up so one I'm of away. her, one of them. Yeah, one of them just pulled up. So we Coach just, D. Coach T. Coach D. That's Coach T. Coach D is not here yet. Oh, Coach D. Mm -hmm. Coach T. Coach T. So, no, not right now. I'm going to wait for your coach to, like, get somewhat situated before we head out because, yeah, I just don't feel like. I would, like, today, I just don't feel like really talking to anybody, being with anybody, just conversating with anybody. It's just, like, I don't know. I'm just, it's one of those days. So, I feel like if I go there, since she's the only one, Bella, I feel like if I go there, since she's the only one there, she's going to want to, she's going to want to start conversations, and I'm really not up for conversations, and just all that good stuff. So, we're just going to vibe in here and see, yeah, and see. Girl, stop. Go put your boot back on. <laughs> put your boot back on. So, do you want to say anything to the girl? Mm -hmm. You want to say anything? You want to say anything in the vlog? Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, what I have to say. What you got to say? Is all you girlies can come to my birthday party. <laughs> okay, you invite everybody to your birthday party? All the girlies. Okay, girlies, y'all heard. Y'all better come to my baby's birthday party. Because soon I'm going to send out invitations. You going to send out invitations? Yeah. What kind of invitations? My birthday party invitation. When it's almost my birthday. Okay, girl. Yeah, I'm telling you, today is just not my day. Why did my tripod stand just broke? Like, why? Like, because we're going to we're gonna have to use Daddy super glue to fix this. Yeah, we might have to use Daddy super glue to fix it. But y'all, come because on, life. <laughs> because
Good morning, guys. I'm gonna catch you guys up real quick on what's been going on. But right now, I am putting gas in my car because usually hubby does this, but I am low, low. So I decided to just go ahead and put gas in my own car. So that's what's happening. Clean these hands. Ooh. I wanna get, hold on, baby. I wanna get like gloves. There you go. Ow. You wanna do the other one? I just put it down, bud. There you go. Thank you. You're okay. welcome. I want to start carrying gloves in my car so when I have to pump gas in my own car, I don't have to use my bare hands. I can put on some gloves so I can, you know, hold it up. Because oh, that thing has like yeah, a lot of room because a bunch of people are gloves. touching it. But good morning. Okay, you guys are a little low right now. Let me try to set you guys up. Let's see if I can set you guys up because yesterday my tripod broke. Like, oh, it literally broke, long. guys. Like, <laughs> when I tell you. Monday and Tuesday, I was having a day. I just wasn't feeling the best. My energy was off. I was just like overstimulated. I was like yelling at the kids more than usual. And I was very mad at myself for yelling at them because I don't really like to yell at my kids. You know what I'm saying? So because I was yelling at them, I was already in a funk. Dad just put me in more in a funk. And I was just like, I felt stressed out. I just, but today I decided that I was going to change my mood. I was going to like change my environment and get up. Up, do something myself and spend some money so that is the goal today that is the goal today stay at the house as much as possible and spend some money let me try to put you guys on here and see if you guys will stand so I can continue talking to you while we are on the road because right now we are gonna head to Target I need some deodorant um that's really all I need and I can literally go anywhere but I just had to go to Target because I can get me a drink I can roam around the whole entire store I can go to each aisle and then I can also pick up a few things that I don't even need you feel what I'm saying and then after that by that time because it's 751 all these um all these open at nine o'clock time i'm done with target i should be ready for all these because we are literally empty we come on let's go Y'all, I feel a little shy because people are walking over here and they see my camera out and they're like looking and staring at my car and I'm like, yes, I'm vlogging, yes. You got a problem and stuff like that. But we're done with Target. I thought I was going to be in there for a long period of time, but I didn't find anything that I like. I literally just grabbed the things that I needed, which was um, deodorant, toothbrush, and boxes for Bubba. I did walk around every aisle and I really wanted to see if they have like those little what is it workout outfits like when you have the dress and then you have the shorts underneath them or the skirts with the shorts underneath it i've seen them all over tiktok but this is the only target here so either everybody came in here when they like lunch and they picked up everything but i didn't find anything and that's really what i really wanted to see if i can find some stuff in my size and style for me but that was like an epic fail now we're going to audi and then we're gonna head home so let's go i have never come to audi's right when they're about to open and i didn't know if people actually like are waiting for all this to open it's not weird like i didn't know people actually wait at the grocery store for it to open i feel like target is completely different because i've waited for target to open like i'll be there like 30 minutes before they actually open and just sit there but like i didn't i don't know is that is that weird there's somebody literally standing in front of the door like waiting for it to open which is good because i'm gonna find everything that i'm looking for and my girl lauren always says on wednesdays that's when they bring in their new shipment for like the home decor stuff Extra stuff, so that means I'm going to have first dibs on anything they have that I want over there, so that's good. But we're gonna chill, it's like 8 58, so like they're gonna open up in a minute. I wanted to go home so I can grab all my bags so I don't have to buy bags here, but hopefully, they have boxes where I can just grab the boxes and just load all my stuff in there. Let me go ahead and find my coin because you know, one thing about all these, you need to have a coin before you can get a little shopping cart and stuff. I, I feel like I had a coin, yep got a corn is that a yep i found me a yeah, quarter toy. yeah you're gonna help me okay okay you have to help me yeah i'm gonna help you So 
I spent about 200 and something dollars at Aldi's for monthly groceries. Usually I don't spend that much, but when I tell y'all we were low, we were low on everything. So I stock up on all the snacks, not all the snacks, because I like to go to Sam's Club to buy the rest of my snacks, but the snacks that I could get at Aldi's, I racked up the things I did like. I got stuff for hubby and I. I got um, stuff for the pot rolls. The only thing I couldn't find at Aldi's, I like to use a um, pot roll seasoning. They didn't have it, so I'm going to run to a food line real quick so I can get that, which is literally across the street from where Aldi's is at, so it's not that far. I did want to go to the dollar section, Dollar Tree area. I don't know if I'm going to do that. I don't know. Maybe that is like a tomorrow thing where I can like get out the house and do something. So there's that. But I want to say all in all, Aldi's was very successful. Like I'm proud of myself. Like I literally didn't buy anything that we don't use. Literally everything that I got is things that we use and it's going to hold us probably for the month. Because really, really Monday through Friday, baby girl is in school. So it's only me and Bubba for literally it's only me and Bubba till like 2 o'clock and by the time baby girl gets home it's usually lunchtime. so the breakfast stuff are only on weekends now when school lets out I'm gonna have to do like not well yes because school ends May 24th so when school lets out I know I'm gonna have to do like another big like run but this time I'm gonna go to Sam's Club or BJ's because I need to rack up literally on all the breakfast stuff, all the lunch stuff, all the snack stuff because now I'm going to have two kids at home who's going to be eating me out of a house. And my camera's about to die so I probably won't pick you guys up till I get home. So yeah. If I didn't tell you guys this, today is Wednesday, May 1st. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I am so excited for this month because one, it is my baby's birthday month. She's about to be turning six years old and I'm like, oh my god like really is my little baby about to be six ah, that means she's so close to double digit y'all like i'm i'm soon my kids gonna be double digit like what i just still can't like uh like i told you guys this before wednesdays is usually when i do my midweek reset so literally as soon as i walk into these doors that's literally what i've been doing not that the house was dirty but it was just like i did groceries so i had to put everything away and i also decided to clean my freezer clean my refrigerator throw out things that we haven't been using in a while things that had expired i also went through the pantry and just you know declutter clean let me show you guys what it's looking like so far so here's the pantry guys I think it looks all nice and all put together the goal eventually is for me to get those nice little like um, containers and stuff like that and drawers just to you know have them like aesthetically pleasing like I have a whole Pinterest board with like how I want my pantry to look like not this pantry but like my pantry whenever we buy our house so I think I could start with what I have here and start buying stuff here and then when we get our house I already have a few of those things if it's a big pantry that means I just gotta buy more stuff you know like who doesn't like buying more stuff but this is what it's looking like moving on to the refrigerator this is what the freezer is looking like this is the bottom of everything yeah yeah so I did all of that um, it may look like I don't have a lot of food in my refrigerator but that's because guys everything that I bought today is like things to hold us for next week but it's not like food food type things it's like mainly snacks that I know the kids like to eat frozen stuff for lunch I like to not buy a bunch of meat and other like vegetables and stuff like that because they go bad. I usually wait till like the day I'm going to be cooking a certain meal, whatever I need, then I go to the store and purchase those items because I hate having a lot of stuff in my refrigerator and for things to go bad because we didn't get through them quickly, if that makes sense. And I also went and tidy up the living room, the kitchen, and I got started on cooking the pot roast. So let me show you guys. The Pyrox is right in here. It's been in there for a couple hours. I have it on high. I have my potatoes in here already cut up, rinsed out, but I keep them in cold water so it doesn't like turn color. I'm gonna do a quick little checky check on the food. Make sure it's like, you know, cooking fine. What, Baba? She's not dying. Okay, y'all. It's looking, it's looking good. I put all the vegetables on top and I put the 
um, the meat in the bottom so the meat could be closer to the heat I guess I don't know so I can cook faster and then for my vegetables not to go soft too quick cuz like look my carrots aren't like that soft so oh my gosh that is so good like the juice in there is good like oh, this is some good pot roast I was so worried that like I didn't season the meat enough that it wasn't gonna have like as much seasoning while it's in the you know no fruit snap. Okay. Close that door. They be thinking they so slick. Try me after I said no fruit snack. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You didn't tell me that. But you heard me tell your brother no fruit snack, right? Okay, so if I say no to your brother, what makes you think I'm gonna say yes to you? But yeah, like I was saying, like the pot roast, it is so good. I just hope that it starts being a little like loose and all that good stuff, so it can like like pool pork or whatever i don't know you guys know how pot roast supposed to look at the end of it so i'm just hoping it gets really tender and all that stuff like i said it's been in there since 12 and it is 2 59 about to be three o'clock i did set up a timer for it to cook on high for three hours and after three hours is over y'all i probably i don't even know if i was recording because when i looked at my screen it wasn't recording so i don't even know where i last left you guys are but get started on lunch for the kids um and then once they're done um, I'm gonna let them do their thing and then we're gonna get ready for baby girl's game. I want to make sure I have her um, I washed all her stuff. So I'm gonna go check if not I have to do a quick load of laundry So we're not sure so we can wash herself which I saw her pants earlier today. It's just her shirt I don't know Where it's at so I have to go look for that. We are at baby girl's game. It is a 537 Usually the coach want us to be here at 530, but I'm here Ooh. But I'm here, but nobody else is here. Per usual, um, we're just gonna vibe out, kill time, and see whenever one of her classmates starts walking in for us to walk in. So that is all for today because once we get home, we're gonna get started on afternoon routine slash nighttime routine. So I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Good afternoon. It is 12 o'clock on the dot. We are actually making our way over to my friend house. I know I don't look I like it, but your girl is not yeah. like, I don't know how to explain it. I feel like yesterday I had a good day and today I woke up and I just felt so down. So I didn't want to be alone and I text my friend. I text my friend Nicole and I was like, girl, are you busy? what are you doing and she was like no she's not busy she just came from a walk and i was like can i please come over because i just don't want to be alone so yeah we're all dressed bubba's dressed we're ready to go we're gonna head out i do have a few videos that i want to film but i don't even know like if i want to do that like i don't know <laughs> like i don't know <laughs> oh like i don't know what's going on with me guys i feel like i need to go to the doctor and just see if like <laughs> if i need like any like medicine or something for like the way that i'm feeling like i don't i don't know y'all i don't know just don't mind me yeah that is the plan for today bye bye let me check the schedule real quick today is thursday may 4th and bubba has a t-ball game at 6 p.m today and apparently baby girl has practice today and i didn't know she has practice on thursdays like i thought she only had practices on um on tuesdays right because on mondays bubba has practice and she has a game and then on tuesday bubba has a game and she has practice and then on wednesday she has a game and then on thursday bubba has a game that's what i thought the schedule was like but yesterday after her um game was over her coach had like a whole little like parent meeting and she kind of went off on us well not on me because girl i don't i muted her out like i muted her out because i was like well, everything you're saying has nothing to do with me so i muted her out but she was going off y'all she was going off and i feel like somebody one of the parents said something to her and because the way she was coming the way she was talking you could tell like somebody said something to her it wasn't me it wasn't me, but you could tell. So she was going on and on, and then at the end of everything she was saying, she pretty much said, oh, I'll see you guys at practice tomorrow. And I was like, wait, hold up. We got practice on Thursdays? Because if we have practice on Thursdays, baby girl has not been going. Since Steve has started, she has not been going to practice on Thursdays, only on Tuesdays. It is currently 4.44. We just pulled out to baby girl's practice. Um, I don't really see, oh, I see her coach pulling in right now. So I'm going to just wait for her coach to come out. I'm going to wait for her coach to come out. She's just saying hi to me. I get it. In the summertime, it's, it's a lot going yeah. on. 
But I, since it's at two, we'll, I'll talk it out with him. And then we'll figure something out. I was talking to her coach. Um, yeah, we're just waiting out here. It is hella, hella hot out here in the streets, y'all. When I tell you it's hot, it is a hot. Very um, hot. Very hot. Waiting to see if other kids are going to come to practice. Usually practice is supposed to be an hour long. So we're going to cut it to about 30 to 35 minutes. Maybe up to 40 minutes. Because when I tell you it's hot, it's hot. So... Yeah, just a quick little pop in, check in. And I got a bruise on my lip and it hurts so bad. If you see Can it, I see just. Mommy? You see it? Mm. See what happened. We're going to stay in this good old AC. Let me blast it. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to pick you guys up at the game. Or, yeah, at the game. It's literally not my fucking day. I don't know where we're going and what we're doing with this vlog but it is the next day and I just put up to this place that sells Korean corn dog. I have never tried them before and it's kind of been on like not a bucket list but been on my list of things to try out. So I looked it up and see if they had one here and they do. So we just got here. It is currently 1226. Bubba is actually sleeping in the car so now I'm debating whether or not I want to let him sleep a little longer or wake him up and go in there to grab my stuff and then come back out. I don't really know. I just don't want to have a crimpy toddler crying if you know you know i don't think i have ever showed you guys with my natural like natural hair like my little fro you guys see me with braids you guys see me with cornrows you guys see me straighten out my hair and all this extra stuff but i've been like trying to i'm trying to love my natural hair a little more in its natural state like growing up in port au prince haiti it was hard for me it was really hard for me and if you're caribbean you know the hairstyle you had to rock the bulgogo with the ribbon i don't know who decided on it but from a very young age my hair was like bald like they would cut it every single time and it kind of left a bad taste in my mouth I guess you would say because not only did I have to deal with colorism I also had to deal with people calling me boy and just being bullied just all this extra stuff so it left a bad taste in my mouth so when I became of age where I can wear like weaves and all that stuff that's all I did literally that's all I did I didn't want to like 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 I don't know that's literally all I did I just wanted to have long straight hair and all that stuff so i just did that and then when i became an adult i found myself loving my hair in a different way like appreciating my hair more now i know i don't rock it often but i know how to do a little one too when it comes to my little hair dude you know what i'm saying so like last night when i got home for bubba's game i went in the shower and i was like you know what i just want to rock my natural hair for the next two few days so i took the quick week out i you know I did some bandle twists on my hair and put some moisturizer on it. I did a little braid on the side, you know, fix my edges. And when I woke up, my hair was looking so like it looked so good. And I and I did my makeup, and I was just like, "Girl, you are beautiful. Like you're beautiful." Because if you don't hype yourself up, who's gonna hype you up? You need to hype yourself up. So yeah, let me know down in the comment below what you guys think. And do you guys want like a hair tutorial, like how I achieve this hairstyle? Maybe I should do it. I don't know but yeah let me go in there and grab what I want to grab and then we're probably gonna go back home or I don't really know because baby girl has gymnastic it is Friday today like did I even tell you guys what day it is today today is um, Friday May 3rd but this is what it looks like can you see it it smells so good Baba said he wants to try it so I want to see how he's gonna react to it <laughs> I don't think you're gonna like the red one this is what it looking like. All right, you want to taste it? Yeah. All right, let's let him taste first. No? You can like it? <laughs> Do you like it? Tasty. Hmm? Tasty. You want to taste that one? No, tasty. You want to touch it? No, tasty. You're thirsty? Okay, hold on. I'm going to go get you a drink, okay? Sit down. All right, so here we go. Now I'm going to try it. Do you want some? No. <laughs> I hear you want this. Hmm? Yes, I can open this for you. We 
I said the honey for the day, baby. Bad man, we must stay, baby. Oops, I done fell for your way, baby. I know, girl, but you don't know from the first time, the first time I seen your love, you got me, baby. Even though, girl, I know that I will fall for you, you got to know that everyone falls. Oops, I done fell so deep, baby. Oops, I want you. Hey guys, I'm currently trying to finish editing the vlog for you guys and I realized I never closed out the vlog. So here I am closing out the vlog. Thank you so much for watching this weekly vlog and I'm going to see you guys next week for another one.